Yo, what is up, everybody? It is Madden season, and we are about to rip these packs. I got a premium bundle with three elites, along with the original packs that you get for the GOAT edition. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's hop right into it. Let's start out with the squad fantasy pack. What is this? I'm sure you want. Yes. All right, baby. First poll of Madden 18, Earl Watford. Nick Mangold. Dang, right off the bat, we get Sam Bradford. Great pull to begin the year. Man, I'm I'm like taken back. I don't even know how to react to that almost. Kinda caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting an elite this early, to be honest. 59 speed, 82 awareness, 79 throw power, 86 throw accuracy short. Pretty solid 78 medium accuracy and throw accuracy deep. His play action and throw on the run is pretty decent, though. Not a bad way to start Madden 18. Especially when you know your boy, Tom Brady's on the cover. You know it's going to be a good year. AQ Shipley. Terrence West. Still waiting on that first elite, guys. Still waiting. At least from the gold premium packs. I'm waiting for that fire pick. If I can get out of here with a 90 overall Tom Brady or Gronk, I would be super happy. I'm pretty sure I'll take any elite though. Boom, there we go. You ask and you shall receive. Antonio Gates. 71 speed. 82 catching, 80 catching traffic, 88 spec catch. All right, all right. Not bad, I'll take it. I'll take it. Got a right guard. Ooh, another elite, Mikey Upati. He seems pretty common. That speed is booty, though. Run block, pass block. At least he's kind of even, but not great in either category, but I'll take it. Ensure that offensive line. I think so far my offensive line is somewhat solidified, or it's a much better than my 59 overall offensive line. Brandon Tate, former Patriot. Pretty good in the return game. I know I know he had a couple of deep bombs. Dwayne Allen. Former Colt. See if he pans out this year in New England. If he if he makes the team. I'm sure he will. There's a couple other tight ends that are playing pretty well though. Malik Hooker. Trent Murphy. Okay, all right. Next. We're going to fly through these packs, guys. Fill up super nah. Nah. I'm good. Josh Hawkins. Boom, elite. 80 overall, but I'll take it. 83 strength, 74 run block, 79 pass block. A little more jaded than the last offensive lineman I received, but I'll take it. Elites are elites. Let's 
it's kind of looking like anything from that 85 to 90 overall is going to be the toughest elite to pull. As you can see, I'd get another 81 elite Lawrence Timmons. 74 speed. Don't know how much I can do with that speed, but hit power is pretty good, though. Pretty good for a base elite at this time of the year. Causing them fumbles. One of my favorite additions this year so far. I played a couple games. I really love the coaching adjustments. Those are really nice. I was playing my good buddy last night. When I needed a strip, I turned that coach enhancement on. And I ended up getting a strip and returned it for a touchdown. So It's good to see that Madden's kind of evolving a little bit. So you have a little more control for situational, situational football. Boom, another elite Malcolm Brown, nice. Former first round pick by the Pats. 65 speed, 79 strength, 77 tackle, 78 block shedding. Very well balanced. Finesse moves are a little bit low, but you know what? I'll take it. That's a good card. Definitely going to use him in my lineup. Boom! Another Elite 85 overall. Brandon Scherf. Can't say I've ever heard of this guy. 86 strength, 81 run block, 81 pass block, 86 impact blocking. 67 speed too. That's not bad. I'll take that. Solid card, and so far the highest pull that we got. Be interested to see what some of these cards go for on the market. Might have to dump some of these guys for the coin. Best way to build a mutt squad is to sell those high-end cards right away. Boom, another one. Kyle Long. Man, offensive line is just on fire today. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's every elite I've gotten so far from these premium gold packs. I'm still a little bit unsure about those squad those squad packs. I'm, I'm sure I could use those, but Mutt Squads is going to be cool this year. I can't wait to try that out. Alright, next. All right, Brian Schwanky. Time to get Schwanky in here. Let's go. Okay. Another gold. Boom, another elite. Tight end Zach Ertz. Should be a little bit speedy. All right, 74 speed. That's not bad. 83 catching. Pretty solid for a tight end. It was nice to get something other than an offensive lineman. Still waiting on that elite kicker. Can't wait to get him. Nah, just kidding. We don't we don't need kickers. We go for it on fourth down. Boom! Another elite, another offensive lineman. Yo guys, I think EA is juicing my packs for offensive linemen. This is crazy. 83 impact blocking, 83 pass block. 74 run block, so he's going to be great on the on the edge. Protect my quarterback's blind side. And for the opening pack, I chose the Raiders. I got Khalil Mack and Derek Carr as my 70 overall gold starters. Eric Fisher, former number one pick. Or first round pick, I should say. I believe he went number one overall. Feels like it was ages ago when he was drafted. Breland, Olson Pierre, Jonathan Kraus, former Viking, I believe. Super excited for the NFL season, guys. It's right around the corner. Got two weeks to go. I 
think it's going to be an interesting year. Can't wait for those sleeper teams. Man, almost all golds in this one. All right, all right. Tony Ely. See if he pans out this year. James Wright. John Jerry. James Wright. Kenneth Acker. Man, we were just flying through these packs. It's like one giant blur. Keyshawn Jenkins. Oh, another elite. Haloti Nada. Another 80 overall. 57 speed is super booty, but you know what? That play wreck. Very similar to Vince Wilfork, usually. Have the ability to figure out screens and things like that. Hopefully breaking up some passes. How many packs we got left? Got 12. We burned through quite a few. 20 plus packs. In the gold premium. Boom. Mike Pouncey. Jonathan Casillas. Ron Harmon and Antonio Morrison. Next. Racking up those contracts though. I always feel like you get tons of contracts in the beginning and then you run out halfway through the first month of Madden typically. Hopefully they're a little bit better about that this year. I understand why they have contracts but it's always one of those things that's just kind of a pain. I hate dealing with them. I know they give you like was it 2,500 contracts or so to begin the year? Just for what, pre-ordering or the GOAT edition? I'm alright with that. The more free contracts they can give me, the less I have to worry about it later. Michael Pierce. Schofield. Another bunch of golds. Taylor Morton. Demir Bird. Alright, we're starting to get to the end of these gold premium packs. More golds. Whitehead. Brandon Bolden. All right, Robertson Daniel. Come on, one more elite. One more elite out of these gold premium packs. Let's get one card that's above 80, 85 overall and I'll be happy. Another gold premium pack. Okay, some Williams. Boom, there we go. Okay, all right. I'll take that. I'll take that. 83 overall cornerback, 85 speed, 86 excel, 80 agility, 79 man coverage, 83 man zone, 76 press. With 70 catching, he's probably not going to catch too many. Like I said in one of my previous videos before Madden was released, I think probably have to be in that 74 75 catching range to consistently get more picks so James Bradbury is probably gonna drop a couple oh wow it even gives us the college on here that's pretty cool it's a nice little addition all right could always use some secondary help can never have oh man Anthony Sherman add it to the fullback squad that fullback dive baby fourth and one 
Anthony Sherman's my guy. I'll take it. Another gold premium pack on the way. Boom. Quentin Rollins. James Stone. The way some of these golds open, it almost seems like they're going to be elites. EA does that on purpose. Dwight Lowry. Next. Jonathan Cooper. Sheed Hedgeman. All right. Squads pass. So basically, it's just allowing you to pick between offense and defense. That's cool. Like I said, man, it's getting better at kind of allowing you to choose different avenues that you want to take, which is really cool. You can go offense, defense, just giving you more versatility. And I'm a defensive guy. Like, I need defensive help. So that Robert Alford I just got is going to help me. I remember Robert Alford. I see you. Super Bowl 51. 87 speed, 76 catching. So I think he'll get a few more picks than normal from some of the other guys that have 70 catching. 72, 73. Player rec, 79. Man coverage, 80. Agility, 88. So, 87. Solid card. Getting some solid elites so far. Nothing huge, though. Can only hope. I think I'm going to go offense on this one. I'm going to go offense. See what happens. Thought I just got John Ross. That would be nice. The speedster. Go defense one more time. Hankins. Key acquisition this year. See how he does. Giants have the potential to be really good. Brandon Marshall on the opposite side of OBJ. However, I think OBJ just got hurt. Elite Nick Perry. 80 speed, 85 play rec, 85 block shedding, 85 power moves, 74 fin finesse, 85 hit power. Solid card. That's going to be a solid defensive card. Definitely going to have to see what some of these cards go for on the market. best cards are going to be those high 80s 90 overall cards all right one more pack let's go offense last last pack offense give me something fire fire nope 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 damn all right all right all right, guys, this is it. This is everything. Let's get it. Something big, something big. High 90s. Well, or 90. 91, legend, something crazy. Are legends even in these packs? Like, is it possible? I would like to think so. All right, last card is going to be elite. It's going to be elite. What's it going to be? Should I go left or right? Left or right? Let's go left. Another offensive 
layer, another another left guard. I think my entire offensive line is is all elite now. I'm okay with that though. Really good on pass block. I think my left side is gonna be really strong. I think both guys are are 85 rating in pass blocking, so that's good. Protect Tom Brady. Good decision so far. Boom, there's that elite. Strong safety, Michael Hyde. All right, six feet, 82 speed, 83 excel, 80 play rec, 77 tackle, 79 man coverage, 80 zone. That 79 man coverage, that's pretty good for a safety, actually. That'll be really good for blitzes and one-on-one -on -one coverage. Shouldn't do that too often, but that hit power, though, is pretty weak. It's more of a cover corner. Rather have a hard hitting safety than than Micah Hyde. But that's alright. It's an elite. I'll take it. Final pack. Final pack. Ryan Tannehill. Hmm. Definitely gonna sell him. I got much better QBs. It's a bummer he's out for the year. It's always good to see a little competition in the AFC East, but I don't think that <laughs> I don't think Jay Cutler is gonna pan out too much. But I'm alright with that. Alright guys. That was 54 packs. We blazed through 54 of those packs. Let's go see what the team looks like after we update it. Generate best lineup. Let's go. 80 overall. Dang. Solid. Alright. There you have it. My very first pack opening of Madden 18. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Plenty more videos to come. Until next time, see you guys then. Yo, young Josh.